have a good day. LA Beast here, and last week before I went on a well-needed vacation to Jamaica, to where all I did was double fist red stripes the entire time, looking out at the beautiful ocean blue ocean, my wife suggested to me that I try and obtain and consume a black chicken, to where she showed me this photo, and as soon as I saw it, I said, heck yeah. And after further research, even though my research is going to be me reading off my phone right now after I searched it on the internet, a black chicken, uh, which is known as a silky or Chinese silk chicken, is a breed of chicken named for its atypically fluffy plumage, uh, which is said to feel like silk and satin. The breed has several other unusual qualities, such as black skin and bones, blue earlobes, and five toes on each foot, uh, to whereas a normal chicken usually only has four. Four. They are often exhibited in poultry shows and also appear in various colors. Now, the the taste of a silky is a bit of a traditional roasted chicken, but with a light touch of duck, and has an exotic flavor. So here in my hands, right here, right now. <sighs> Here in my hands, right here, right now, I'm holding a rare black silky chicken. Um, and, and honestly, I did all the cooking stuff prior uh, as I ordered three of these things. And the reason why I'm actually not taking this out of the bag, uh, honestly, is because right here, my thumb, ooh, like that, they, that, that's the head of the silky chicken. Uh, and for some, for some reason, uh, I don't know, uh, we're, we're going to get into the cooking segment here in a second. As I'm about to eat, I'm going to eat this rare silky, silky chicken. Um, it, it, it was very reminiscent of when I consumed balut eggs. Uh, just to see in that baby duckling's head, uh, it smelled like barnyard pee. Uh, so without further ado, uh, without further ado, there's a second part of what I'm about to do. So what I also plan on doing, because I'm partially crazy in my head, and most likely probably in my entire body, is take this regular rotisserie chicken uh, and hopefully safely on a bonfire burn the ever living hack <laughs> out of it to try and replicate this rare silky smooth chicken and then take the entire thing down. Why? Because I just said that I was most likely crazy in my entire body. But overall, uh, I feel that the end results uh, it's going to be some pretty great comparison shots. So without further ado, let's get started on the cooking process, which I already did prior to me doing this intro. further ado, I'm definitely getting multiple different smells in my nostrils right now, and all that I plan on doing is just kind of comparing, uh, well definitely based on looks alone, the regular rotisserie chicken and uh, the silky black chicken look identical. And, and I guess hopefully one of them is going to taste uh, like an exquisite exotic five star meal, uh, and, then, and then the other one is probably going to taste like as if I'm eating... 
a bad child stocking on Christmas Day. Uh, so here we go. Just uh, let's let's get started. I'm, uh, that is a very rare silky black chicken. Even though I'm pretty sure you can get them anywhere. Uh, okay. Oh, and then here we go. Uh, I have an official burnt to ever living hell rotisserie chicken, and they, they kind of look very similar. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get a quick close up here. Oh, interesting. Interesting. The, the camera's definitely a little bit blurry, or I don't know if just a. Okay, great. Awesome. I am the LA Beast. Uh, and you know what, even though during the cooking process I was a little, was a little bit freaked out, uh, I'm going to first officially taste uh, what a rare silky black chicken tastes like. Uh, okay, you know what, who, need, who needs a knife and fork, even though this thing just literally had a head not too long ago. I think I, I overcooked it. Oh. Okay, well, you know what, I'm going to... We're, we're still recording. Uh, I just wanted to officially... I just wanted to officially... Uh, the Silky Black Chicken has multiple... Uh, one, two, three, four... Alright, oh, I'm only counting four... Four fingernails there. So... That's cool. That's great. Here we go. There's still hair on this thing. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay, well... Mm. Ooh, okay, uh, well, definitely uh, the first initial smell for me that was when I was actually eight years ago. I was boiling down balloon eggs, uh, which is a baby duckling uh, in the egg, uh, popular in the Philippines. Uh, and to me, it smelled like barnyard, barnyard pee piss. Now, I'm definitely smelling a whole lot of barnyard pee piss. Oh God. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm eating. I'm eating something exotic. Uh, this is definitely, this is an exotic meat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, huh. Okay, well, here we go. Mm. I prefer not to eat the skin. Okay, just eat the meat then. Okay, here we go. Ah, all day. All day. There, there's definitely a piece of cartilage. Uh, and I, you know what, there's definitely a piece of, there's, it, looks like, it looks like an eyeball. Hmm. Okay. All right, now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Hmm. Well, the, uh, the, me adding salt and pepper to this and oil uh, definitely does not make this taste the way that it tastes. Sure, uh, and you know what? Just like the name, uh, the silky chicken, it does actually have like a a nice tenderness in there. And I'm sure if these, if if I cook this properly, it would taste ten times better. It's got like a nice velvety, silky bite to it. Then this is just on this part of it. Okay, whatever that part is looks disgusting, but mm, okay. Yeah. Again, I'm, get, I'm getting all this stuff all over the camera here. But here we go. Yeah, done. Uh, well, I'm not done. I'll definitely, uh, if you have to like speed this up, whatever. Uh, my overall thoughts, A, I was freaked out, uh, just like in uh, the movie A Christmas Story, where they go to the Chinese restaurant at the end of the movie, and like the, the the duck comes out with the head on it. He chops the head of the duck off. That kind of freaked me out. And he, and, oh, jeez, I'm okay. There's a claw. There's definitely a claw. Well, uh, okay. Well, you know what? The breast. Oh, jeez. I didn't want to have to use this, but the breast. Uh, the breast actually looks like a membrane. Uh, it kind of looks like there's membrane in there. Uh, I definitely would like to get a piece of the breast, but okay, I'm just definitely gonna take one more. Okay, okay, well, that's 
that's what we're dealing with. Uh, I definitely don't want to eat the skin. Oh, I just, okay. It just, it, it has, like, it's to me, it looks like an octopus. It's got like octopus in there. A thousand percent, no, honestly, just like the blue egg, no, it is not as bad as it looks. No, I'm going to actually utilize my knife and fork to, to maybe get a little bit of the breast meat in there. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually just carving into the bone there. There is no, where would the breast be? Well, I guess there is no breast meat. Hmm. Oh, there, there it could be. It's good. Uh, there we go. Now we're talking. That kind of it kind of looks like uh, looks like tuna fish. All right. Uh, uh, fair enough. My overall assessment here. Now you know what? Honestly, I could I could go back and uh, do this three times over because I ordered three of these things for thirteen ninety nine on the internet from Brooklyn, but. Okay. Yeah. That. Mm. Done. Honestly, not bad. Uh, when it comes to the the rare silky black chicken, uh, even though even though there's a claw, there's definitely a claw hand, like just in liar liar, uh, Jim Carrey with his claw. Um. Definitely look a little bit membrane-y. There's another another hand right there. Now, uh, does this one have five fingers? Okay, you know what? This one only has three fingers. Interesting. Um, not bad. Not bad. Uh, to me, as I'm looking at it right here, and especially to the camera, uh, this looks just like as if uh, from the from the movie A Christmas Vacation. Now, when they overdid the turkey in the oven for Christmas dinner. No, that's kind of what, you know what? It looks like a, a, a mad sea urchin. Sea urchin. <sighs> All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm actually going to try, okay. I'm actually going to try this rock solid rotisserie chicken that I actually got at the store yesterday. There's a bone. Oh God, and that's a sharp knife. I actually utilized this when I ate a 72 ounce steak not too long ago, four, eight years ago. And for comparison, here we go. I could definitely, I could definitely taste the crunchiness of the burnt the burnt to hell flavor. Uh, fair. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, it definitely has. It definitely has uh, just a slight char. There's a slight char. Very dry. It's very dry. Very dry, and, and you know what? When I, whenever I go to a fine steakhouse, or if I've ever done, like when I've ever done a steak eating challenge, I should always get your steak medium rare, even, even though we're eating chicken right now. Uh, this is definitely, for, for my taste, uh, this is definitely a little bit overdone uh, for my taste, regardless if it's steak and or chicken. Uh, and again, I'm going to eat as much of this as possible here. Uh, but yes, when doing research on whether or not, uh, like what the level of, of well doneness should be, roasting your food to where it's completely burnt to hell on a bonfire, uh, quite possibly is not the safest thing. So, uh, with that said, uh, here we go. Let's just 
Uh, and because, exactly, this is gonna be my dinner for tonight. Anybody's ever been to a tailgate before at a football game? Nah, in, in, like it, it feels like as if the entire tailgate is in my mouth. It's gonna wing. It's gonna not. <laughs> delicious. Exactly. Hey, guess what? If I hold it in front of my shirt, the, the wing is invisible because it's so charred. You can see my hands, but my hands actually look like uh, as if I was a chimney sweep, uh, just like in the movie Mary Poppins. I I'm gonna need one second here, uh, but you know what? I've officially tasted a rare silky black chicken as a truck is going by in the background. And I've also uh, tasted uh, a disgusting burnt over bonfire rotisserie chicken. And when I come back here, I'm gonna give you my final conclusion. Well, after further review, if I'm being totally honest here, that my mind has been 100% mind freaked. As as like as I was actually cooking, uh, as you can see the rare silky black chicken. You can, like see the hand. There's definitely a hand right there. Uh, I cut off the head. There was a head. Now uh, there's there's another hand. Uh, and it's pretty crazy. Like that. Uh, that. Silky black chicken in and of itself is not burnt whatsoever versus um, As you can see this this thing um, Fair fair. Uh, well, I'll give my honest thoughts um, of consuming a rotisserie chicken that I burnt ever living hack out of I Exactly like it, uh, it It feels like if I just mined a coal mine using my mouth uh, so something that once was delicious, uh, that I burnt to ever-living Eden, not my favorite. Uh, but, but again, it's weird. This is weird. This is a weird thing. The silky black chicken, uh, honestly, it's like, it, it, it is so satin, smilk, smilky smooth. I prefer uh, the silky black chicken. Uh, again, if you can just get over the f hey, you know what people get over the fact that people get used to eating chickens uh, that have heads on them all the time uh, And and would I eat a silky black chicken again? Absolutely by far uh, A very flavorful yet exotic. Yes a mixed chicken uh, the fattiness of a duck overall a great chicken even though I love steak. So on that note, uh, hmm, uh, yeah, geez. Um, on that note, I'm, I'm going to have a glass of my apple juice, as I say. Appreciate everybody. It's the LA Beast. I have no idea what I just did. Uh, have a good day.